but this was the one that was focused on. So my thing was like, look, in a two-hour show, Monday night, don't forget, I was there for two, two, two days a week in your house, Mondays and Tuesdays for the most part of my career, right? So for two, two hours of Monday and an hour on Tuesday. Tuesday shows all re results. But this Monday night, this is an important one, right? In just two hours, my time goes up and down a little bit, but I calculated my air time was about six and a half, seven minutes max. It's me on camera at some point. And it wasn't about me, 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 but it was like, if I'm gonna keep coming back, you wanna know me? Okay, great. So I have to have an opportunity to say something. And so that was this, that was the opportunity. You see me in the, in the, in the rehearsal package, that's not me. That's someone who spent 40 hours a week and got chopped up into, into 45 seconds. Okay, so that's not me. That's an edit. Uh, live show, 13, 12, 11, 10, 7, 9 couples, whatever, you know, plus the judges, plus the outs, plus the this, plus the hosting, plus there's just a lot of stuff. You're a small part of a big crew. So when your time comes, and now dancing the cha-cha, right? So that's when your time starts, right? So the most of it is the dance. Then you stand and listen to the judges. Again, it's not you. Then you go upstairs and you, you know, your partner answers back to about her feelings about what just happened. That's not you. And then they say, okay, great. Let's see your scores. Scores go up. You bow out and you're done. The show is done. For you, the show is done. <clears throat> so within that time, if you find a way to say something profound, you know, long lasting, um, you know, something educational, something that people will remember you by, you know, that's, that's what I was not sort of hoping for, but the goal was to, you know, find an opportunity to be heard, to, 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 to have a voice to what, you know, what just happened. Right. And not just a soundbite voice, but the actual sentence. That's kind of like what came out, but again, it's all off the cuff. It's all, you know the maxisms like why would you say that when well, you could have said something else you could you could i could have been i could have been more you know yes i could have been more structured and probably sweeter softer you know but then it probably wouldn't be authentically me and you know right it, it is. You say like each season of Dancing with the Stars, which yes, it was bigger and better. And each season, like your partner was the best ever. But so like on that note, like who do you think your best partner was? I mean, I won with Meryl Davis and right. um, Gil still, it's one of the best partnerships we had. Um, you know, I had a great time with Mel B. You know, we danced well together. Again, you see like my thing is, you know, comparing people to people is it's terrible you know but comparing dancers is fine you know because that's a result it's just like somebody rent i always consider dancing to be a you know um sport for me was just cross finish line first you win unfortunately in dance it's a subjective opinion so you know you don't get the finish line you get somebody deciding where the finish line is you know and you know it's a little it's a little weird but once i transition to the art of it you know, and probably went away from being judged and uh, kind of like more. I, I'd rather be judged by by the audience, you know, by ticket sales. Oh, we hate this guy. He sucks. We're not going to buy a ticket to see him. We love what he does. Let's go see that, you know. So that to me is more of, you know, what I'm working on or been working on ever since is just to like, hey, you know, love me for for my product, you know. That makes a lot of sense. What about, you know, you've had so many great partners throughout the 15 seasons you were there. There's a lot of housewives. 17. 17? Why did I think it was 15? Oh, well. That's, I, I also think it was three, but 17. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Would you ever go back? I would love to. Why not? Yeah, for sure. Listen, if body allows and, and it does and, you know, I'm happy and healthy and I am sure why not I'm in a different place though you know if you want to get this sort of not passion net because i'm still that but definitely not gonna talk shit to them <laughs> rest in peace but you know what i mean um 
Because again, because we've learned about what the show is and is not, you know. And uh, honestly, one, and that's again maybe my my forte was the theater, you know, the, the the not the theater, the theater stage or whatever it is. Maybe maybe that should have been my thing. But where where Dancing with the Stars started making sense to me is very late in the in the in the game in the run towards the end of my run. Somebody was like, "Hey, you know what Dancing with the Stars is?" Is it is it is a theater show? Curtain up is your eight o'clock, right? And curtain down is the end of the show. And between the curtains, we have a two-hour act. I'm like, mind blown. This makes total sense. This is the way that someone like me, with my psyche, with my personality, with my understanding of things, will separate themselves from it's about me to I'm about what this is, right? And so once I was told that, I was like, this is it. This is this is what I should have been told day one when I was given a job. What is my job? I was told my job was just to dance and make my partner winner. Say no more. Say no more. When do we start? Give me whoever. I don't care who it is. Because I, I know that my work ethic will prevail in that format. When the format became not about winning, okay, but then it's not, what, how do I apply my work ethic? What do I apply it for towards? You know what I'm saying? Because if it's not about this, okay, cool. So now I was told at the end of my dancing stars career, it's an act. It's a curtain up, curtain down, and the audience bought metaphorical tickets, sat down, turned the TV on, chant that channel, and now they're watching this, right? And so when you come out and make it about yourself, they're confused. They're like, we don't get it. We don't see it, you know? And so that's when I realized how that moment, although career pushing maybe, was at the same time like just a confusing moment for someone who was sitting there with their grandma who doesn't really care about the lot, just sees the, the, the dances and sparkles and loves the walls of it and all of that and watches it with, with her granddaughter, son, whatever, third generation. So the beauty of the show for me was understanding that this show is only beautiful if you get that awkwardness out of it. You know, and so for me, bringing some personal stuff into the piece of the show that isn't about that was kind of like, it's just a little awkward. And so that's what the reality is now for me. Uh, but I think that my forte is probably the stage, you know, in that sense. If you like, if you like what I do and the product is great, and I think I'm a big body that was able to figure out the movement, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, I'm you know, just if I were to evaluate myself from the side, you know, I would find a lot of flaws, but if I were to point at some things that work is the size, the movement, the way I carry